So welcome back to Water Power Planet, everyone. And these polluting industries, no, they had plans for these guys from the very beginning. Think about it. They're going to turn them into this. A freaking battery. No, that was the plan all along. They knew about the water being the fuel. They were going to, they were going to take these sheeple and turn them into a, a thermoelectric generator. No, they were going to do that. The sheeple puts out 43,000 BTUs of energy. No, they were going to turn them into a battery so they could split the water and make the gas. No, we're not the only ones that are searching for an endless amount of clean power. Think about that. No, these guys know all about it. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. We're going to cover a lot of things. So welcome back, everyone. The Flames of Freedom. Here we go. So it's the elephant in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Where's all the clean energy? Where's the solutions to our problems? Well, I like to think of it as the glass is half full. No, the glass is half full. The game isn't over yet. So we have to stay positive. You don't want to get depressed. You got to stay positive and you got to think about the future. So we're going to talk about the oxygen today. We're going to talk about ions. Before it's too late. Now the oxygen is very important. You can't have a combustion process without it. No flames. Nothing will burn. We're going to talk about ions today and why they're so important. See, there's my sodium carbonate in the back there. And I've been dissolving my ions in the water. It's really easy to do. Just get them all stirred up in there. Get my ions nice and stirred up in the water. And then what I can do is I can lower the resistance. That's what it's about, to make the electricity pass through there much easier. It's all about resistance. So let's turn this on here and get this going. So I got the lights on in there today so you can see the oxygen coming in over there. Yeah, it's all lit up. See the hydrogen coming in on the other side? Now we've talked about the hydrogen. Now everybody's seen the hydrogen, it's boring. Nobody wants to talk about it. Let's talk about the oxygen today. No, it's precious. It's super important. It's doubly magic. You can find it right there on the table of elements. Its atomic number is eight. No, these sheep would have to be blind not to see this. No, think about it. This is why you got the tetrahedron and them crop circles. No, look. I told you I'd cover this today. You can see they always use a, a tetrahedron. Okay, I wanted to point that out. It's important. See, they put messages in these crop circles. See, there's the Hill Bob Comet. This was the Shoemaker Levy when it hit Jupiter. You know, these are crop circles. See, they have a tetrahedron structure. And I showed you why that is. There's the connection. So it has to be the only fuel in the galaxy. No, this is the only fuel in the galaxy for interstellar space travel. It's the only thing that makes that possible. And these guys knew this all along. That's why they want to get their hands on it. They want to beat you in space. No, they don't want these sheeple driving past them in their spacecraft. You know what I mean? Think about that. They want to turn them into a battery. That's their plan. They don't want to be set free. So we're going to cover that today. We'll talk about more and we'll move on. Well, I thought that was interesting. A lot of these crop circles are tetrahedrons. Very interesting. So once you got your ions dissolved in the water, I can easily lower the resistance. I can just make the solution stronger and stronger. It puts a heavier load on the motor. It's, it's pulling more electrical power. And I'm producing more gas at a higher rate, at faster speeds. It's 
let's move on. But your ions are really important. Having your electrolyte, having those positive sodium ions in there so they're attracted to the negative electrode to produce the hydrogen gas. It's precious. It controls all the other atoms. It's different than all the other atoms in the universe. So we're going after the oxygen. We're using the electricity to break the water, to break the bond. You need your ions in the water. See, and there's the oxygen being produced over there, a positive electrode. And the hydrogen, we can get that anywhere. The whole universe is made of hydrogen. That's no big deal. We're after the oxygen. No, it burns the fuel with, with very ferocity. No, it's where all the strength comes from. It's where all the energy really comes from. Think about it. It's easy to get the hydrogen. It's the oxygen is what we're talking about today. It's super important. Yeah, I know you can store the hydrogen. It's not flammable and you can put it in tanks and containers, but that's not what we're thinking about, you know? Think about the oxygen when you're working with HHO gas. No, it's all about making that flame as hot as possible. It's the same with the propane. I'm going after the oxygen. When I look at these molecules, it's the first thing I think about. Getting your hands on the oxygen. I'm always searching for it. It's all about your ions. So I carry my ions around with me in my urine. See, that's fresh back there. I just made that. So I'm going to show you if you already have ions in the water, you can easily break it apart. And you don't have to add an electrolyte. See? No electrolyte required. There's many different types of urine out there, depending on the main ion in your urine source. So once you have access to an endless amount of clean power, this makes space travel possible. Though it also makes time travel possible. Think about that. Because if you can travel through interstellar space, just travel in space to travel in time. Think about that. Through spatial divergence. How do these sheep will not see this? They must be blind to the whole thing. Well, the symbols are everywhere. It's all about HHO gas. Don't forget your ions. No, you're not going anywhere without your ions. Well, they know this, they know this. It's very important to be able to lower the resistance of that water. See, that's why the aliens make these tetrahedrons out in them crop circles and them fields. We want you to see the three strange circles that form out the tips of the triangle to create a tetrahedron in the base. Think about that. It's very important. It's all about resistance. It's about lowering that resistance. And when you want to raise the resistance, think about it. That's very important too. If you're using distilled water, the electricity won't even flow. Because there's no ions in the water. Think about that. That's why I use the sodium carbonate. It's like a little universe, just like this spoon. You're not just looking at a spoon, you know? You're looking at the atoms deep down inside of it. You know, that's this silver spoon. So you have other elements there. Iron, nickel, copper. It's like a little universe, think about it. Just like your glass of water. 
Don't take it for granted. So we'll continue on. This is the key to getting to the hydrogen and the oxygen. You gotta understand your ions. Back to basics. Go back and read that. So you gotta understand matter in the universe and what's inside of everything. So it's about pure, clean energy. It's about getting it out of the water. That's the secret. The Lord may have taken his vision, but he is not blinded to the truth. He has seen the light, and he knows that the ions are the secret to lowering the resistance of the water. It's true. No, he's got all the power in the world now. Think about it. And want him to see this. HHO gas is what it's all about. So since being turned into a battery, right? No, they tried to piss down his back and tell him it was raining. But he's not falling for it, no. He's known from the very beginning that these guys have had their eye on his water since the start. You know, it's went from genesis to genocide. You know, they're taking advantage of these sheeple. They've been sold out. They've been completely sold out. Think about it. These non-renewable companies. Well, they knew all along. They knew about the energy. They, they made deals with the aliens. Everybody knows it. We'll get right back in here. It's very important to talk about these tetrahedrons. You know, it's different to see it all in 2D like this. When you look at the table of elements, but you gotta think of this different. Well, it's in different dimensions. You have to look at this from 1D all the way down to 9D. Think about it. Like I said, don't expect these sheeple to figure out on the first day. But if they open their eyes, they'll see what's going on here. Now look at these snakes off them. Look at these snakes off these sheeple. So it's all about the ions in the water. That's how I'm adding the oxygen gas to this flame here. So I'm burning propane and I've added oxygen to it so I can burn it cleaner. And I've dissolved the sodium carbonate ions in the water. That's what's in the reactor. And I can raise that flame if I want to. Got all the power in the world. You just have to be able to access it. The oxygen atom is very important. So we'll continue on. I'll try to make as many videos as I can.